fighting the fall combo, a warning tonight from health officials that a more severe flu season on top of a possible COVID surge could strain Southern Colorado hospitals this fall. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live at Penrose Hospital to explain what health experts recommend you do to stay healthy. Annabelle. Bart, Heather, hospitals like Penrose say that they're anticipating a spike in the number of patients that are going to be walking through their doors this fall. They're worried that the combination of a more severe and early onset flu season, in addition to the Omicron variants, could lead to an increase in the rate at which those hospital beds fill up. So now they're encouraging all at-risk Coloradans to go ahead and get those Omicron booster shots. As students head back to school and large indoor gatherings jump into full swing, Hospitals here are preparing for increased activity of their own. I think it's a little bit of a bigger deal than most people are suggesting. Monitoring a growing number of Omicron COVID-19 cases, all while flu season has already started. We look at what we've been seeing uh, just in our testing, even you know in Denver and in Colorado Springs, we're seeing a, a reasonable amount of flu circulating already in June and in July, which is very unusual. Like they do every year, health officials are calling on Coloradans to get their flu shots. But this year specifically, they're also asking those who get sick to think critically about what their symptoms might be telling them. We want to know early, is this COVID or is this influenza? Because we have treatments for both of them, but it's different. And so in and, and both of them, the treatment only works if you deliver it early. They say that's the key to making sure their hospital beds don't rapidly fill up. If you're in that high risk group, you want to get tested early and you want to make sure that you're vaccinated and ready to uh, ready to withstand the winter. And health officials say that individuals who got COVID over the past six to nine months don't have to rush to get those Omicron booster shots just yet because of their natural immunity. Reporting live at Penrose Hospital, Annabelle Childers, KRDO News Channel 13.